Well, today we are going to talk deck railing. I'm going to tell you about this metal deck railing that we chose when we did our major deck renovation. We'll talk about the installation process and then I'll tell you how much it costs and whether we are happy with the product. So this is a metal railing system from Fortress. Now I don't get paid by Fortress. The reason we chose to go with the Fortress, this is the FE26 model, is because well, my local building company where I bought the decking also stocks this railing. So we were able to pick up whatever we needed in stock. I could drive over there if I needed an extra panel or I didn't needed an extra post or any of the accessories, I was able to go and get it. Very happy with the look when it comes to their rail sections. It comes in a six foot section like you see here. They also have an eight foot section and a 10 foot section. Now I chose to do the six foot sections because this deck is about 15 feet off the ground. As I was thinking about maybe kids or adults leaning up against this rail, I thought having the post every six feet made more sense to me than spanning either eight or 10. When you do the math, this is 36 foot wide deck. I needed two more posts in order to accommodate these six foot rails. So I could have saved a couple posts if I had used those tens, but overall, I'm glad we did this. It's extra support, it's very sturdy. One of the nice things about going with a metal rail system is that you can actually attach this directly on top of your composite decking. If you go with wood, your wood posts are going to be bolted into the frame of your deck, and then your decking is gonna need to be notched around the post. Now I think wood is a good option if that's what you prefer to do. You also can get some composite caps to cover that wood if you don't wanna have to stain the wood. But overall, I like the sleek look of these. They are extremely sturdy. Thankfully, we were able to get them all leveled up down this run, and I think they turned out really well. And if you like the look of this deck, would you like this video and hit that subscribe button, help the channel to grow. So let's talk about the installation process. Now, according to Fortress, with the instructions that they give you when you purchase, you are gonna build some supports before you get your decking on. So that is one of the things that you need to prepare. You're gonna take a two by eight or two by 10, same thing you use for your joists, and you are going to block them in horizontally, and then you're gonna put a vertical piece and block that in as well. When you're done, you're left with a very solid surface to drill your holes and to put your bolts through. So what that means is, as you're planning out your deck, before you get your decking on, you need to measure out. So I had to measure out six feet, start at one corner, build that support, six feet later, do another support, six feet, and so on. Take that all the way down and make sure you have all of that support done before you put your composite decking on the deck. You then can use shims to level everything up, make sure it's nice and tight, and then you get go ahead and bolt your posts on. So the way that you attach your rails to your post, they have these little metal brackets right here. We actually made a jig from an extra piece of composite decking. We set it here on the bottom of the post, marked where our holes needed to be, and then we use that jig for every post on each side. You use a nail set after you've placed a mark with a pencil or a Sharpie, use a nail set, tap that hole, you drill into that hole, use these metal brackets, slide them on your rail, and then you have a screw on the top and on the bottom. Now we need to talk about a crucial tool for installing your railing. One reality is that getting your drill or a driver into this bottom screw is extremely difficult. So enter this little bad boy by DeWalt. Now you can use this straight. Without this tool, we were shooting through these T20 Torx bit. We were using one per bracket practically. We were just shredding them, uh, trying to get them in at this, at this angle. But what this allows you to do is come in at a little bit of an angle. So it's a little bit of a joint. Now some of the tools that are jointed like this lack the power to drive something like that into this metal post, but this was very effective and it allowed us to get our drill on that end and drill into these without stripping all of our T20 bits. This is definitely not a job to do yourself. You're probably going to need another person to help you, but with two people, it's not too bad. Because your deck, like mine, is probably not going to fit perfectly with the 6, 8, or 10 foot sections, you are able to cut these. You can use a sawzall. We found that to be the easiest me method to cut. One thing you've got to keep in mind, however, you can't just cut anywhere along your rail. You need to have enough bar on the end 
to slide into your bracket here. So if you cut right here by this rail, you're not gonna be able to get your bracket on there. So make sure you take the time and you might have to cut a little on that side and a little on this side to ensure you have enough to slide onto your bracket. Now, working along with a friend, we were able to get all of our posts on in a day and then get these railings going pretty fast. The first one's gonna take you a while. Once you get the hang of it, it really isn't so bad. Okay, let's talk pricing for this rail system. Now, I wrote this all down, so let me uh, get a piece of paper here, okay. All right, so each six foot rail panel costs $149. Each post is $86. These nice little post caps that they have for the top, those are $4 each. And then the collar bracket set uh, and all the hardware, $48. You get a nice little bracket down here at the bottom as well. So I'll put those prices up here. You can use that to do the, the math to estimate how much this is gonna cost for you. But overall, I would say we are very happy with the product. It is extremely sturdy. So if you had a few people leaning over against it, not that you wanna lean over against the rail, but if they did, I think this is gonna be plenty strong and gonna hold up over time. The other thing to keep in mind that I really like about this product, if you get it scratched at all, you can buy some spray paint. Anytime you get a scratch, you can spray that and it will cover that mark. Especially when you're installing, you've got your tools. When you're cutting a section, you need to file those ends, spray them a little bit with the paint. You can take care of any nicks and scratches. Well, let me know what you think about this product. Tell me what you think, how this deck turned out. Overall, we're very pleased. I'll post a video to the entire deck renovation, which I talked about. I talked about the composite that we chose and talk about pricing for this entire deck renovation. Be sure to subscribe if you found this to be helpful.